So, you're the one after all. I thought it might be you. The Grandmaster talked to you? I talked to him, yeah. What's this about? Well, you've been making waves. Opening the gates of the Fortress of Dawn? Not bad. But reaching the inner sanctum? All kinds of wheels started turning in Antium when you did that. What do you mean? Why would anybody in Antium care about me? I mean that wheels literally started turning inside the palace. Arden Vasa built some device to tell him if a worthy Lancer appeared. I hear it told half the city. That's huge and unexpected. A lot of eyes are watching you now, wondering what you'll do next. Yes, well, they're not the only ones. I can help you with that. I guess it's time to properly introduce myself. I'm the law keeper and storyteller for the Legion of Dawn. The Legion is gone. It broke apart centuries ago. And the Lancers left the path, it's true. But there have always been a few souls tasked with keeping the Legion alive. Arden Vasa left the wheels ready to turn for a reason. The path of the Legionnaire has been waiting, like the doors at the Fortress of Dawn, for a worthy Lancer. I passed all the tests. I was welcomed into the Legion of Dawn already. Sort of. The trials proved you're worthy to become a Legionnaire, but you're not one yet. You know the stories of General Tarsus. Do you know the tales of her most trusted counsel? I've heard their names. Children's stories, but I don't think that's what you're asking. You should know whose footsteps you're following. At the height of the dawn, countless lancers flocked to the banner of General Tarsus. All who had the heart to fight were given a place, but a few were more than just lancers. These were the boon companions of Tarsus, walking the path as she did. The Legionnaires. I know you're not asking me to become best friends with the late general. In a way, I am. Arden Vasa, builder of the first javelin, the first emperor. Sanadine, whose swiftness inspired Corvus. Medero, Magnastral, and Leotrail the Unbroken. They all had one thing in common. They shared the ideals of Helena Tarsus. And you want me to do that too? Follow in their footsteps. Become a legionnaire. So many eyes are watching you. If you can do this, revive the path of the Legionnaire, maybe the glory days of the Legion are only beginning. Mederon was the son of Arcanists. He had lived his entire life in a cavern, underground, hiding. At ten years old, he had never seen the sky, or an Urgoth, or any beast but men. The world was utterly unknown to him, except for tales of horror and woe. But among the stories warning children to hide and obey their parents, Mederon heard one other, a whispered tale of a rebellion against the Urgoth and a legion rising to set all people free. So, at just ten years old, Mederon left the safety of the Arcanists to find the Legion of Dawn. His parents couldn't have just let him go, could they? They forbade him, of course, but he picked his moment and ran away. Raised to be a scholar, he knew how to read the secret signs of the Arcanists. He followed them through the wilds to the Legion of Dawn. Or he tried to, anyway. The Chimera had a different plan. Is this the kind of story where a small boy fights a Chimera with a stick and a rock? No. Although most of those stories you've heard are based on Medera. He'd never seen a Chimera. He'd never even seen a Grabbit. But he was a very good student. 
He learned all the warning signs that he was being hunted and remembered stories about laying false trails. He led the Chimera on a long and winding path through the rocks, back and forth. He could never shake the creature, but it could never find him. Then the other hunters came. General Tarsus, in the first javelin ever made. Testing her new armor, she found the Chimera stalking the boy. Lucky for Medarin. No luck about it. Tarsus followed his trail, just as the Chimera did. She was just learning the javelin. No one knew what it could do, not even the man who made it. Not trusting her suit's strength in a fight with the Chimera, she lured it into chasing her instead. While it ran after Tarsus, Leotrell found the boy and spirited him away to safety. After all that, he just went home again? That's not much of a story. I said safety, not home. They took him to their own camp, where the Legion hid at the time. When Tarsus asked where he lived and who his people were, Mideron replied, You are my people. The others tried to persuade him to return home, but after a long moment, Tarsus said, He is home. From then on, Mideron served as a page to the Legion of Dawn. Eventually, he became a Legionnaire himself. But that's another story. I've discovered something in the Elysian Manuscript. Repeating symbols spread throughout the text. A pattern that, once decoded, shows a set of coordinates. Coordinates for what? Unknown. Robin Moore, its primary author, must have buried them in the manuscript. Moore was one of the greatest arcanists in history. His understanding of Shaper instruments was unparalleled. I don't like making assumptions, but what's at these coordinates must be remarkable. Let me guess. You want me to check out the location? Precisely. Will you? Leave it to me.
scroll buried in an ancient library. So you don't know? I'm sure we'll know when we see it. abandoned places, and Wolven guard the territory fiercely. It will be impossible to continue exploring if they aren't dealt with. What a shame. It seems deactivated. There was mention of a vibrational frequency in the manuscript. Perhaps if it's directed in a pulse through a javelin. an object with a finely tuned energetic resonance. Of course, once charged with the resonance, the stone becomes a key. If I'm correct, the plates in the ground will respond to the resonance of that stone. Put stone on plate and something happens? Hopefully. Feels a bit like I'm in the guts of a giant safe. I think that's exactly where you are.
Esmeralda. Wait! Don't move! Instruments detect minor glitches in the system. Ancient mechanics. Deterioration over time. Resonance is off. I need to transmit signal pulses through your javelin to compensate. You must stay close. Symbols to use this time? I'll look around for clues. Have you found the correct symbols yet? I'm looking! sure the stone is charging properly. Got it.
with this. Anytime. Enjoy picking up heavy things and putting them down again. Also, I assume I'm getting paid? Yes, of course. I took in sandwiches as well, just so you know. Running that frequency for your javelin again. I need you to make physical contact with the mechanism this time. My instruments are going wild back here. What's happening? All the stones appear to be working in concert to achieve something. I need you to stay close. I must monitor these readings. Oh crap. We made something angry. Energetic vibrations from the stones are likely causing distress in sensitive wildlife. How long will it last? I'm not sure.
So did you hear anything about that guy and the thing? What do you think would make that kind of mark? I don't understand. What's the problem? I thought you'd be happy about the documents we found. I am. But Moore alludes to a discovery he made that would change how we look at the world. Important. Groundbreaking. But he never says what it is. In places, words are even scratched out, obscuring the meaning. If what he discovered was important, why hide it? Knowledge hidden cannot achieve its purpose. Maybe he thought it was dangerous? Ignorance is dangerous. This is all baffling. I need more time to look it over. Perhaps discuss it with the others. Sounds good. I'll come back soon. So you're a legend several times over now. Talking about the Heart of Rage? Heart of Rage, Cenotaph, sending the Dominion running back to Strawheim. General Tarsus better watch out. You seem to be coming for her most famous Lancer crown. Do you like mysteries? I love mysteries. It depends on the mystery. I take it you mean the writings of Robin Moore we found? I'm becoming predictable. So, here we are. Robin Moore makes a brilliant discovery, but doesn't tell anyone. Instead, he hides documents about it behind layers of riddles and security. He doesn't even mention it in his seminal work. Curious, don't you think? The way I see it, there's only one way to solve this puzzle. There are clues in Moore's documents. We must follow the trail of breadcrumbs he left. Errol extracted information about another location. We used to be a waypoint for traveling arcanists. We think another clue is hidden there. Leave it to me.
here we are, tracking down the clues Robin Moore left. No idea where they'll lead, but that's the fun of it. I'll stay here with the Strider. Be nice to go with you, but my notes are really heavy. So heavy. Let's get started, I can't wait. This used to be a waypoint for Arcanists. And then, you know, that cataclysm. It was damaged and abandoned. What am I looking for? According to his writings, there was information in a series of runes. They should be around here somewhere. Ah, it's burning through my suit! Those plants are growing very close to these runes, almost as if they're a deterrent. You think they were planted on purpose? Is this ruin ancient? These things, they live forever, and they get more toxic over the years. They could have killed you easily if you hadn't been in a job. Hey. Death traps, danger, this only proves we're on the right track. Interesting. It all matches up with what I've seen in Moore's writings. Yes, as expected, they're leading us to another location. Did you know that most of Robin Moore's discoveries are lost to time? And now we're the ones who'll bring them back. Think about all the good that might do. Better be worth the danger is all I'm saying. Oh, I'm certain it will be.
everywhere. Last. This is more difficult than I anticipated. Close. I have chills. Good chills. I mean, oh, this is exciting.
opportunity wants to open. Look around. One in charge? He's not like the others. The colors and embellishments of his javelin. Familiar, but I just can't place them. Crap. Stop shooting at me!
Police, we might be able to reroute the systems to use them instead.